everybody for watching Fired Up Outdoors. This is your killer food plots tip of the week. You know, much of the preseason work, checking of trail cameras and hanging stands, things like that, going into deer season take place during the hottest times of the year. Right now it's July here in Oklahoma. And uh, as you can see, I'm drenched. It's over 100 degrees. It's not even 11 o'clock. The humidity is absolutely ridiculous. And the thing is, I'm in a remote location where help is not readily available. So you need to do you know, certain things when you're out on places like this and, and doing some of this work to protect yourself. First and foremost, stay hydrated. Uh, drink water. If you're getting to the point where you're already thirsty, you're behind the curve. Uh, you know, drink frequent water. Like I said, I'm drenched and I am sucking water down, so I'm, I'm probably not keeping up with uh, the amount of sweating that I'm doing and the in intake that I'm taking in. Drink some of those electrolyte replacement drinks such as Gatorade. Wilderness athletes hydrate and recover. They're gonna help replace some of the electrolytes that you're ultimately gonna be sweating out. And know the signs and symptoms of heat exhaustion, heat stroke. You know, heat exhaustion, you may be having some cramps, just some fatigue, dizziness, nausea, vomiting. You're still gonna be sweating. Uh, so you know, be aware of that and, and take the precautions. With heat stroke, it's much more serious. And once you get to that stage, you may not be able to recognize it or get the help that you're gonna need. Uh, altered level of consciousness to the point where you, you could pass out and not be able to get help. Uh, hot, dry skin, you're gonna stop sweating. Your body temperature is gonna skyrocket. Again, your rapid heart rate is gonna be just up and pounding. Uh, so be aware of those. And the thing about heat exhaustion and heat stroke is once you get it once, it's much easier to get it a second time. So be aware of that. Take frequent breaks like I'm doing here in the shade. I've got a nice breeze blowing through. I'm just taking a break while I'm checking these trail cameras and drinking some water. So be safe out there. Good luck this fall. Thanks for watching Fired Up Outdoors. This has been your Killer Food Plots Tip of the Week. Man, I love days like these. Passing it down the family tree. I couldn't think of a better place.